Brown proposals came after billions of pounds were wiped off the value of some of Scotland's biggest businesses today. The value of the pound also fell to a 10-month low against the dollar. The head of the CBI has told ITD News that a yes vote could create problems for generations. Our business editor Joel Hills now on the price of uncertainty. Goodness, it's looking close. An independent Scotland, few in the city believed it could happen. Now they're starting to think it might. Opinion polls are shifting. Money is being moved around. The sell-off we've seen uh, both last week and also today is a reflection of how relaxed the city was in regards to the likelihood of a yes vote coming through. And I think the fact that we've seen a psychological swing away from a no lead to a yes lead has really seen market traders move into gear. The pound has been weakening since mid-July and is now at its lowest level for 10 months. There are a number of reasons why, but the increasing prospect of Scottish independence is one of them. On the stock market, the value of these companies also fell today. All of them have strong links with Scotland. Standard Life has indicated it would move some of its operations out of Scotland in the event of a yes vote. Lloyds and RBS are widely expected to do the same. Now, these companies are not ideologically opposed to independence. They are worried about the impact it would have on their businesses and their anxiety centres on the future of the pound. Now, the Yes campaign says an independent Scotland would keep it. The Westminster parties all insist that won't happen. So much is unclear. Not least what happens to our national debt. Britain owes £1.3 trillion pounds and counting. There's no agreement on how this and a host of other assets and liabilities will be shared. The market reaction is no surprise to the head of the CBI. Sir Mike Rake has repeatedly warned the yes vote would mean upheaval for businesses, not least his own. He's chairman of BT. There could be a currency issue, there could be a pension issue. Uh, you know, there's a question mark about rolling out the funding, for example, of rolling out super basketball down to the Highlands and Islands. There are issues there about who funds and supports that. That kind of is a UK proposition. People know all this, and yet they're still indicating more and more of them they're going to vote yes. Yeah. Well, I would simply say that's your choice. It's a free and democratic society. This is a decision you have to make for yourself, but I think you're completely underestimating the disruption, the economic costs on you, your family, your children. Scotland has its own banknotes. It could end up with its own currency. If it's a yes, the talking begins. The uncertainty could last for some time. John Hills, ITV News.